Once upon a time, in a quaint village nestled between the vast mountains, there lived a renowned Zen master named Master Kaido. His reputation was such that people from distant lands would travel miles, crossing rivers and scaling mountains, just to seek his wisdom. One day, a young man named Hiroshi, with tears in his eyes and anguish in his voice, approached the master. Master Kaito, he began, I have fallen deeply in love with a woman from the next village. She, however, does not return my feelings. My heart aches and I can't find peace. How can I make her love me? Master Kaido invited Hiroshi to sit beside a tranquil pond where delicate lotus flowers floated and koi fish played beneath the shimmering surface. The master picked a small pebble and handed it to Hiroshi. Throw this pebble into the pond, Master Kaito instructed. Hiroshi did as told, and they both observed the ripples it created. They spread far and wide, affecting the entire surface of the pond. The heart, Hiroshi, is like this pond, Master Kaido began. When you feel love, it's like throwing a pebble. It creates ripples, affecting not just your own being, but those around you. I understand, Master, but how does this help my situation? Hiroshi asked. Master Kato smiled gently. You cannot force the pebble to create a certain pattern of ripples just as you cannot force someone to love you. Love, in its truest form, is not about possession or changing others. It's about the beauty and freedom of the ripples it creates. Hiroshi looked puzzled. But how do I find peace with unrequited love? Master Kaido pointed to a lotus flower. Notice how the lotus does not race with the fish or compare itself to other lotus flowers. It simply exists, blooms, and naturally draws beings to it with its beauty. Become like the lotus, Hiroshi. Bloom with love from within, not for someone or something, but for the pure joy of blooming. When you radiate genuine love, without expectation or desire for return, the world, in its own way, responds. Tears welled up in Hiroshi's eyes again but this time they were tears of realization. He bowed to Master Kaido, thanking him for the profound insight. Years went by and Hiroshi transformed. He engaged in acts of kindness, served his community, and loved unconditionally. His heart, once filled with sorrow, became a beacon of love, drawing many towards its warmth. True love isn't about possessing or altering others, but about radiating genuine affection and understanding from within. When we bloom with love and without expectations, the universe reciprocates in unexpected ways. Thank you for joining us today on Speak Life. Let's always remember to bloom from within, to touch lives with genuine love, and to make the world a brighter place. Stay inspired and continue to speak life into every moment. Until next time.